let's come to the aspect of friendships because there are friendships that that one person you know mm. might be might be using using mm. the other and I'm mm. you know ashamed to say I do have some of those <laughs> friends where, but, but this person might be a great listener might be the person who comes through when there's a problem you know so mm. so mm. so mm. is there can we p attach any blame to the person who's being used mm. because they're just being too good of a friend though I'll tell you this uh, you don't have friends oh. <laughs> you don't have friends okay very few people, I'm, and I'm speaking for very few people in your life are genuinely happy for you. Very few. Mm -hmm. And so all they are doing is extracting from you value. It's only that for now they have to be with you to get that value. If they can get that value fl from an ostrich, they will quickly transition from you to that ostrich. Wow. If it moves from an ostrich to a tortoise, and, 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 and unfortunately, because people get into relationships selfishly. They don't, nobody, I'm a pastor. Nobody leaves the house to come bless the pastor. To, oh, let's go to church to bless the pastor. Everybody goes to church to be blessed. And so I have to be aware of that. The people who are sitting in front of me, and the ones who are tuning in today in the morning, they're here to extract value from me. Whether I have slept in my car to get here, it, it doesn't matter. It, my value is this. Speak something that will make my life better, brighter, happier. Mm -hmm. And that goes into even our, what would say, our formal relationships. Oh, that Anne is my friend. If I ask you, how was that friendship formed? Either you were employed together, either you went to Kamahu here, girls together. Then those are not friendships because you, if, if it is school that brought you together. Mm -hmm. And when, when the school left, the bond of we were in school together, you are trying to use the bond of high school in such a complex stage in your life. Mm -hmm. And that bond is not strong enough. Mm -hmm. And so you start getting places, God start opening doors for you. And this person, because they feel like, maybe at a shulia likuwa na kunyorosha, great. So very few people are genuinely happy for you. So what will they do? Whenever there is opportunity, and that's why you say, I discovered that I had haters in my circle. Because whenever opportunity opens for you, or people begin to criticize you in their presence, very few stand up for you. Wow. They say, ah, but soon as you are doing co that as you are, soon as you are co wagaivo, co wagakanaji, co wagakan. And at that time, and then of Kiria, hey, but I'm always with you. Mm -hmm. And so, very, very few people who are in your life, you will hardly, by the time you transition from life, if you have lived a meaningful life, probably you'll have made five friends. That's. That's, that's crazy all, to think all, about. All these others are just passengers yeah. in a bus. You just happen to be going. You're going to Kisumu, but then they're going to Naivasha. They have to endure you up to Naivasha, but... <laughs> won't be there after, they after be, Naivasha. Well, when they get to Naivasha, oh, they, they had to survive your dry jokes. Yeah. If, you, if you live to eight years, chances are you'll make five. Wow. I mean, I, I, I'm realizing this. I moved over the weekend, and I moved by myself. Like I was like, where are all my friends? You know, <laughs> my family wasn't wasn't uh, around. Uh, but I was like, uh, hey, these people who will come for my housewarming. Moving after you've arranged it, like it is kia kuhava. Kwa ma sauti, you know, Kenyans have perfected. Kwa when it's cold, wala kasauti yoku pigia sibi hello ni leo. I was on a TV, the screen, and the <laughs> but it's true. And mm -hmm. before it used to bother me mm -hmm. because I, I would feel like, oh, why are people like this? But then, success is a lonely place, Oof. and trying to tag along historians, archaeologists, so that they can go together and yonder with you, you're going to burn out because as long as you have value that's when they will be there. Yeah. Their true value is not your person, it's your connections, it's your gift, it's your money, it's your car, it's your house. When those things are threatened, they feel as if you have threatened them. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've seen people angry uh, at, at moves I've made in my life and I ask them, how did this threaten you? How, like you've moved from your house, how has that threatened mm -hmm. me? Uh, and what if you're not able to pay But mm -hmm. uh, I've not yet come to cry for you. People just position themselves that uh, so we, they've already calculated that you cannot get there. People are, they form 
and and it, it's painful but as life winds down you'll get to discover it works out like that so so what do you do when you realize that you're being used when, mm. you know that that realization hits you you're saying it, it it's it's important to know up front mm. i don't have friends yeah. start there <laughs> start that there i have to make friends i don't mm. have them these people are forced into my life by either their parents moved next door their my employer employed us on the same day or we share the same birthday mm -hmm. but i i can't say that they are my friends yeah so what do you do when you realize that you realize this person is just in my life for ABC. Manager withdrawals. Oh, how do you do that? You have, to, <laughs> you have to. You have to have the courage to put a stop. You have to stop, uh, guard your heart. You have to stop uh, putting yourself out there for everybody, spreading yourself so thin. That's not how you make friends. That's not how you make friends. You don't make your friends by just throwing yourself at everything that I'm, that I'm, I'm, I'm making. This is how I'll make friends. That's not how you make friends. That's how you get abused. Because you are sending to them a language that in this relationship, I'm the mat. I'm the one you walk on. You're sending them, you're teaching them how to speak. And that's how relationships are. Mm -hmm. uh, we get here, six of us. Somebody decides who will be the mat, who will be the door, who will be the wall, who will be the roof. And if you choose to be the mat, well, we, we, who are we? We are just your <laughs> humble servants. We're just walking. We'll walk over you. Mm -hmm. If you choose to be the door, who are we? We'll just be using you to walk through. If you choose to be the wall, who are we? So people begin to align themselves. So you have to manage your withdrawals. You have to manage how much time you give uh, away. I have seen that eventually it is, and I want to put this in quotes, it's almost the selfish people that end up enjoying more quality life. It's always the people who say, hey, if I have, I'm trying to like move from my house, sita kata kuhama because you've exploded somewhere and you are in your emergencies and in your crisis that you well I have to I have to just manage and say okay acha mm -hmm. kwanza because the day of crucifixion ikikuja afadhali nipate kwa my new house than <laughs> when the day of crucifixion ikikuja niseme the way I sacrificed even not so that I can do this for you it hurts most when you discover the people you withdrew for the most are the ones when you're being chopped down to pieces they are the ones who are sharpening the knives for the people saying why are you missing a spleen they, they hit the spleen man and who's that playing around with the toenail go for the leg and that's what happens and so you have to know relationships are formed around us by selfish people those even even the people who say joey i love you very few are saying i love you for you mm -hmm. because if they love you for you they will try and see what does joey like mm -hmm. and they'll try to align themselves but when they say i love you they love you for themselves they <laughs> love the progress you're making how it will help them to meet willis then it will help them <laughs> to meet fred then it will help them so it's 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 you 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 if you say by the way i'm thinking of transitioning from here to there oh, it's, it's, it's okay. because they still have a goal i love you, I love you where there. you are yeah. Yeah. I, there's a goal i have if you move then you'll give me another job of trying to build a way through there so it, it's 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 cruel and maybe when you talk when you talk about especially this kind of uh, relationships people think I'm a, I'm a sadist but eventually they come to see that I was right success is lonely mm. I think it's important also to note that uh, for people who are users mm. it's a repeated process yeah. like they they're not going to use you once yeah. they're going to use you until yeah. <laughs> until yeah. they are satisfied yeah. so it's it, it, it's a repeated process yeah. and I think also you know important to pick up on mm. on on that yeah. has this person only been calling me mm. when they need something yeah. Yeah, exactly. you know so 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 maybe you can talk mm. about you I know, also the, tell the people process. Well, process. One of the things also I said as you manage your withdrawals, uh, another thing we have to watch out from users, there are kind abusers. You know, we are used to the ones who take, mm -hmm. but there are those who give. All, all abuse is about control. And so there are those who give, then they use what they've given you to control. Ah, what? Oh. Tissues looking sharp. Oh, you look what? And they're yeah. be like, uh, if, if you're not, they feel like uh, I have to stay in the streets with how much good I've done for you. Actually, me without you, what are you? It's a form of abuse. That's a terrible it, feeling. It's the worst. Yeah. At least the ones you deliberately. And so you have to learn to accept no favors. I, I, I try as much as possible to be a customer. If you're selling, I'm buying. If you're 
we are driving together. Hey, I'm contributing. I don't want you sitting down and saying, ah, kiku kwa na kitu, I don't want that kind of definition around me because you're stealing and robbing my worth, my social capital. You're robbing it. When people perceive me as this, then you come and tell them, no, the guy can't move from here to there with the, I am the one who. So I, I try to make sure that every place I am, what's the value of this? Okay, this is what I'll bring. And as I bring it, uh, what is left, I'll bring it this way. Or how many, how much is everybody putting on the table mm -hmm. so that nobody is walking uh, in the streets uh, doing a rap song yeah. with, your, <laughs> with your name title. Yeah. So the process should be that when you see that there are people who they repeat it over and over again, you'll, you'll constantly see one thing about abusers is that they always complain about other people's unthankfulness. Oh, because they need to feel validated. They need to feel validated. So they complain, complain. I will say, I, I did this for him. If you see somebody consistently going for praise and wondering and complaining why somebody did not, and somebody did not, and somebody did not, that's a sign that you're dealing with either a, an emotional abuser, a social abuser, whichever. Another thing is, if, if you see somebody is not just complaining, but he, he, he's giving you sensitive information about people, Oh, very sensitive. He's trying to tell you now. We used to be close to this, and I'm I'm pouring your name in the streets. So that's a sign you're dealing with an abuser. Mm. He he or she he will 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 will, t will terribly terribly tear you apart. Yeah. Because they they get what was covered, and then they bring it and uncover it before the people. That's a sign you're dealing, and uh, you are in the presence of an abuser. Yeah. Because the next thing is going to happen is that they They'll will be spilling excite your secrets. you. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be exciting you. And then before you know it, they are luring you because you know, hey, manze kuna story juicy. Wacha ni karibia ni more and more and more. But when this mat is con is finished, now we get to another person. So those are signs. You are, you are seeing that this person here, he is so much eager to to to, to, to put out there yeah. something that uh, that that does not. I would not. If somebody said that matter about me to somebody else, it would hurt me. That's an abuser. You're in the presence of an abuser. I always say that the people that you gossip with are the people who are going to yeah. gossip about you. Yeah. And then <laughs> so. the people who are inconsiderate in judgment, totally mm -hmm. inconsiderate. They mm -hmm. always see that, ya kichoka, amini mechoka. I can't be available. They're always inconsiderate. They can, they can never leave their tiredness to go and be there for somebody else. Mm -hmm. If you find those kinds of people totally inconsiderate, they, they always feel like they can never adjust for somebody else. Everybody has to adjust for them. You're actually dealing with an, with an abuser, whether it's a boss, a husband, a friend, totally, even a parent, an mm. inconsiderate parent. Mm -hmm. Totally, totally. If you find you're dealing with somebody who's that, they're inconsiderate in their judgment, they, uh, they are parents who cannot allow their kids to even work. They are parents who cannot their kids to stay married. Uh, if you deal with relationships, you'll hear, why did the wife leave? Ah, it, man, the in-laws, mama, ke, baba, ke. the parents were just on us. They were just on me. Oh, chakula ya wele, pikuwa give up. Yo chayake maziwa gani, yo nini. So they're, they're, they're just putting you under immense pressure to control you. So why do people choose to stay? Like if we talk about relationships, mm. there are people who just like they know there's an imbalance mm. in mm. the in the relationship, but you just choose to, you know, in Don Mezuea. So mm. <laughs> why do people choose to stay being used? Freedom is scary. Oh. When when you are free, you'll be defined as what? A rebel? Or you'll be defined as insensitive, or you'll be defined as uh, you 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 are not the labels, we fear the label mm -hmm. that will be assigned to us should we address or confront abuse uh, in people. If you sit with leaders, our politicians, if you see, I believe the problem with our country, uh, even when you look at our cor the, the kind of problems we have, is because we the, pol we the public also abuse our politicians. You, you cannot expect them to be at every function, at everything, and then and, and, and they have to contribute. If, if I call a politician to a function and, and it will let them be, it will touch, it will go, hey, Mesh, what happened? But if he tells you for the needs I have, that's what I have, we'll say, ah, um, say ningati. <laughs> so what must happen is that he must supplement to meet the expectation of the number of people who ask, ask, ask from them. Mm -hmm. So where will they get it from? They have to go and create a way of getting the extra to do that service. Mm -hmm. So 
Why do people stay? Because they fear the label. They fear what they will be labeled. Should they either confront the person or should they exit? They, they fear the label that I'll be called this and this. And that fearing of the label will make you stay in an abusive relationship. For other people, it's because of the degree of damage. You're mm. in so much pain. The strength to begin to walk out or to deal with the matter, the breakdown is so intense. It's like a, you're in you're, you're, you're what we were discussing with Lewis last week, with Willis last week. On, on You've entered in the collapse phase of a relationship. You've collapsed. So you don't, you, you are in abuse and you don't know. Hmm. It no longer bothers you. I have someone who texted and said, that is true, I have come to realize. I don't know which part of the, of the <laughs> conversation <laughs> they were talking about, but clearly all you said is true. Finally, yeah. uh, as, as we find out, <laughs> what do you do yeah. if you are being used right now? If someone who, who's just listened to this conversation realizes, mm. that's not my friend, mm. my boyfriend is using me, mm. my job, what do you do? The first thing about fighting and, and overcoming abuse is developing your identity. Identity is a solid inner, inner definition of yourself. And when you go and develop that identity, invest in yourself. You have to, we abuse what has no value. Mm -hmm. If something has value, we protect it. If something has Oof. no value, we abuse it. Preach. So you have to, I preach. No, you can <laughs> preach. <laughs> if something has, has value, value, you protect you, you it. You protect it. If it has no value, you will abuse it. And so put some value in yourself. I always tell people that uh, the, the, the first step into overcoming abuse is to develop authority. Mm. You cannot abuse somebody who has authority. But if you have no authority in your life, that means you do not set boundaries for yourself, you've not set plans for yourself, you've not set goals for yourself, then what happens? Somebody with boundaries, plans, and goals will come and see you have got no plans, boundaries, and goals, and use your boundaryless life mm. to, to just uh, put some, they'll put some fences around you because they, they, they work like that, they walk like that. So you have, to, you have to find that, and it is your identity that provides the bedrock for your authority. I, I used to be bullied around and, and thrown around left, right, and center. I'm not saying now I am not, but now I am more conscious that I can actually see you're about to exceed your limit, and so I'll either <laughs> tell you kindly, or I'll say, I'll, I'll use a, a stronger way to send the message that, hey, I think it's best, why don't you go back to your corner because yeah. we, you cannot pass there. Yeah. And everybody must be defined in your life. If you find somebody who is not defined in your life, that person is a time bomb because you're already. And who is he? Well, you're Wagatu. What does he do? <laughs> you're Wagatu. What does he want? What does he want? Yeah, you're Wagatu. Uh. Everybody, the closer people come into your circle, the more clear you have to be. Who, what, why, when, what, how did he get there? That's how you build friendships. Yeah. Friendships. You have to be bonded together so that you can build together. But most of our friendships are social. Mm -hmm. And so we get more withdrawals than deposits and eventually we run out. Wow. Then just, that's it.